Hello, Dumelang, and welcome to another video. I'm Mabato Mamahao Dipila, and this is Mamahao Unchained. Today we are talking about scatter cushions. So now let's talk about this 3,000 rand scatter cushions. So last week in my H&M uh, video, where I shared with you my favorite decor finds from H&M, I also asked you guys, what is it that you would like me to share with you or to shop uh, any stores that you would like me to shop for you? So one of you guys gave me... Um, a comment that said, uh, uh, please do a video on scatter cushions. Do you get them custom made? Also, price range is huge from 200 rand to 3000. Are the top ones worth it? Thank you in advance, Marun. So, we are going to talk about scatter cushions. Um, after I saw that comment, I went uh, shopping online to see if I could find a scatter cushion worth. 3,000 rent and lo and behold I found one at home has a scatter cushion for 3,000 rent this is what the scatter cushion looks like I'm not going to tell you whether it's worth it or not worth it but I'm going to tell you what makes the scatter cushions cost as much as they do like she mentioned in the comments the price range for scatter cushions goes from as little as 200 rent to as much as 3,000 rent so for me I do a little bit of both she also asked do i make my own do i buy them in most cases i tend to buy scatter cushions but uh because i'm somebody that always has an eye for you know new things that are coming up and all of that so i'm always looking at different stores what they have in terms of the scatter cushions collections and all of that so um I love scatter cushions. I mean, a room without scatter cushions to me just feels naked. So you need a little bit of that extra texture, extra color, extra pattern, and scatter cushions are perfect for that. So um, funny enough, when I saw that comment, I said to her, I have a video coming up uh, next week on scatter cushions because I was planning to do my own video on scatter cushions. And j that comment just literally just fell into place when uh, I saw it. When it comes to scatter cushions, there are different factors that affect uh, the price range. Number one, it will always be the brand. What brand are you buying from? In as much as we might like to say scatter cushions are cheap or expensive, when you go to a particular store and you find a price for scatter cushions, you are basically buying either the name brand or you are buying the quality or exclusivity. That is basically what it boils down to. For me, it depends on the space where I want to use the scatter cushions, and it also depends on the look that I'm going for. If I feel like I cannot find what I want in the stores, I will go and make my own. So, um, every store has different ranges when it comes to scatter cushions. I will start with Mr. Price. Mr. Price has scatter cushions for like 150, and I think the most I've seen at Mr. Price was uh, 500. Yeah. Is 500 so all these stores what they do is now they use uh, designer fabrics in order to have their um, what you call the premium collection mr. price now has a premium collections where they use UNG fabrics UNG is a studio where they design their own fabric collections every year they come up with different collections uh, di different looks and different types of fabrics so mr. price uses UNG fabrics when you go to Let's go to Cielo. Cielo uses Hertex fabrics. If you go to Lots of Living, they also use Hertex fabrics. So um, these fabrics are one of a kind. They are not mass produced. So obviously, because they are not mass produced, it will also m make an impact on the price that they will charge you for uh, the fabrics. So when you look at Mr. Price premium range, it retails for about 500 rand uh, per cushion. And when you take into account the fact that you also get um, a feather felt inner, then uh, it also makes sense why then uh, a designer fabric plus a feather filled cushion would retail for 500. And then when you go to your stores like um, Loads of Living and um, Cielo, their cushions are standard, come with uh, feather felt inners, but they retail from somewhere between your 700 to 1,000 and 1,200 per cushion and um, they also depend on uh, the type of fabrics that they use so with uh, hertex fabrics and any other fabric um, house that uh, exists they have what you call um, 
single use fabrics and dual use fabrics so your single use fabrics will be fabrics that are solely for making curtains and uh, cushions those type of things but your dual use fabrics are fabrics that they use for upholsteries and can also use for making cushions so those type of cushions will cost you more because upholstery fabric is expensive and also when you look at the width of your fabric it's shorter than um most materials when you buy for making clothes and those type of things and when you look at your fabric swatches let me see if i've got one in here i wanted to get the designer look at half a cost so i went to hetex and got myself some samples of fabrics so when you look at a fa fabric uh, swatch sample so it gives you um the rub count it, te it tells you what the fabric is used for and those type of things these things also have an impact on the price and also the fact that uh, the fabric is embroidered will also mean the price is higher so this fabric retails for about 1560 a meter when you look at the cushions that they have in store made with these fabrics they retail for about a thousand two hundred per cushion so now here's where the trick comes in when they make these cushions um, with this fabric, in most cases what they will do is they will have this fabric only on the front of the cushion. And on the back, they will go with a plain uh, fabric of the same uh, texture. So basically you get uh, the front looking like this and then the back will only be uh, plain fabric. That is also a way in which manufacturers and um, design houses save money and also to be able to put profit back in their pocket. I'm not against that. How can you get designer scatter cushions at half of the price or at a less cost? So I went on the hunt for beautiful fabrics and I went to Hetex and got a couple of uh, fabric swatches and um, ended up buying my own fabrics so um, when it comes to design houses most of them don't sell directly to the public you either have to be affiliated with them or you have to buy it through one of uh, the companies they are affiliated with him just like i've done with head tags they don't sell directly to the public so i went to exquisite cuts in cremerville where i bought my head tags fabric from them and they actually ended up costing me 1000 around 1200 per meter for uh fabric that i would have paid like 1600 around there if i had bought it directly from headex so so for a meter of this fabric i'm going to get myself two 60 by 60 cushions at the price of basically one cushion that you may get in the store and mine will have this fabric on both sides it will not have uh, the plain fabric on the back so if i wanted to make more of this type of cushion i could actually get four cushions and um, get only the plain fabric which i don't even have to use a head text fabric i could go to chamdo get myself a cheaper fabric uh, which matches this and use this for the backing which would cost me probably less than 100 rand per meter and uh, i could get four cushions out of this so that is how they make money i'm not against that but this is why you need to understand why um, things cost what they cost. At the end of the day, they need to factor in the labor and cost, the transportation, the running of the business, those type of things have an impact as to how much they charge you for the cushions. So I got myself a couple of fabrics because I love pattern, I love color, and I get bored with all the plain fabrics that are in the stores. So I got this fabric that I showed you the swatch of. So this is the uh, beige and cream version so this is the rust colored version and this also is from hertex it was around 1560 per meter as i told you and i also got this because i have a navy blue uh cushions that i used in my bedroom for a while but for but i never had um anything with a little bit of blue and a different color in order to complement them now let's go back to the 3000 cushion so this 3000 cushion that uh, i found online was from um was from at home so the fabric is from a uh, designer's guild designer's guild has uh, fabric collections with different design houses like your ralph Lauren and those type of designers so obviously if you're going to buy a fabric from ralph Lauren, you know that you're going to get uh, charged more not because it's special or those type of things but it's because of the brand that it is so if you're buying a cushion made from designer's guild fabric 
it's, you, you are buying the brand. So if for most people, they don't understand why that cushion costs 3000 because they don't understand the name behind Designers Guild um, and the d type of uh, collaborations that they do with different design houses. So uh, that cushion um, comes with, it, it's feather filled, it's uh, a designer fabric, which means it's an exclusive type of cushion. It's not something that is mass produced. Even if you go to the at-home stores, you will see that not all the stores has it. You can find it online and um, you can find it at some of the stores, but you will not find it in all of the stores because at the end of the day, they know that it's for a select few. Not everybody is going to buy a 3,000 rand cushion that they're going to have on the couch with uh, their kids jumping all over it. For me, I don't mind buying expensive uh, cushions. Um, I mean, um, in my bedroom refresh the other day, I showed you these cushions, but I didn't show you how much they were. These cushions I got from Cielo, and one of these cushions is 1,000 rand. I've been buying cushions that are around that price because I love my cushions because I rotate them around the house. I will take one from this bedroom, put it in that bedroom, and change up the looks as often as I want. And I wash my cushions as often as I can. So I don't want cushions that when I put them in the washing machine, they look kind of funny. And I don't want to lie in as much as I love Mr. Price and all those type of shops. Their cushion covers, the minute they hit the washing machine, they start looking kind of funny. Even when you iron them, they are no longer as square as they used to be. And also, when you feel the texture of the material, it, most of them are made of polyester. So even though some of these may have a little bit of polyester here and there, but most of them are made with proper cotton. And if you're going to lie on the couch, put your head on a uh, scatter cushion, sometimes you want a fabric that's not going to irritate your skin and those kind of things. So... If those things matter to you, then you definitely are going to have to foot the bill and uh, pay the cost of that. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to making my own cushions, so look out for that. I will show you a tutorial on how to make your own cushions for those of you who have sewing machines and don't know where to start when it comes to making your own cushions. So I hope it helps. I cannot say whether it's worth it or it's not worth it for you to buy expensive cushions. It depends on your taste. It depends on your budget and also the kind of look that you have in your house. So I hope that helps. But yeah, if uh, it's something that you want to do, feel free to do anything. It's your home. It's your money. But uh, I think a lot of us agree that 3000 rand for a scatter cushion is it's a little bit too steep. So <laughs> I hope you guys have enjoyed the video and you will tune in for another video next time when I will be showing you maybe a tutorial on how to do cushions. I never know what's coming up in the next video, but I hope to see you very soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.